Hello, my name is Merlin White, and what I'm going to present with this series of video clips uh, is some information on a group of fungi that I work with and I've been working with for the last 10 or so years. I did my PhD on a group of fungi called the trichomycetes. The trichomycetes are commonly known as gut fungi. These fungi live in the guts of arthropods, of various sorts of arthropods, mostly non-predaceous arthropods. The group is relatively understudied and has been traditionally, with only a handful of people studying them at any given time historically. What we know about the gut fungi is that they are obligate endosymbionts. They are related to mushrooms, but have developed and evolved in a, in a unique lifestyle uh, in this symbiotic relationship that they have with their hosts. The interesting thing about these fungi, and the thing that has the thing that has really driven my curiosity about them, is how well they have adapted to this existence in the guts of arthropods. And one of the things I'm going to hopefully convey to you in this series is just how adept they have become. And when one truly uses that knowledge and that that understanding of their biology, it is then when you get the most productivity from your efforts in terms of collecting and dissecting and preparation of these specimens. The trichomycetes as a group uh, are, are a class of fungi. The class is called the trichomycetes and there are four orders traditionally that were monographed by Dr. Robert Lickfart in 1986 in this book which is now updated online uh, with his students, one myself and Matthias Cafaro in 2001. This class of gut fungi is now understood to be a polyphyletic group, so it has multiple origins. We know that there are two orders that are fungal, and the acellular ailes and the harpal ailes, and two that are protistic, and those being the eccrine ailes and the acellular ailes. All of the methods and procedures that we're going to be demonstrating in this initial series of videos are, could be applicable to the search for either or any of those kinds of fun, uh, those endobites. One of the most remarkable discoveries or, or series of discoveries that we've had in the last 10 years is that the, the diversity of this group is very much uh, misunderstood. And with even just minimal equipment and minimal effort, with some practice, one can find a lot of new taxa of these gut fungi. And the work that I'm doing currently is in two major streams. One is pursuing and trying to understand and discover the taxa that, that are out there and that we, we have not seen yet. Describing those new taxa and bringing those into the lab and doing DNA extractions and using molecular tools to understand the evolution of this group and how, they're, how they have evolved into this uh, relationship with their hosts. There's a whole series of questions that are driven and or can be driven by the molecular sequence data that we're generating with this, this group of organisms. Some of these organisms are culturable, most of them are not, but the tools can be applied to either culturable or unculturable text. Ultimately we'll have a number of video clips uh, available that will not only show you how to collect and dissect and prepare specimens for the traditional morphological approach, but also this series of video clips will be expanded so that one can also see some of the methods that are used in the molecular lab where we generate sequence data and, and give you some insight into that aspect as well. The goal, however, for this series of video clips initially is just to introduce you to the fungi, to the methods and the approaches that we use on a day-to-day -day basis when we're surveying for gut fungi, and to perhaps uh, help you make your own collections and dissections and find make your own discoveries with this. I will depart from the introduction, and I would love to hear feedback, uh, comments, and uh, information on how I can make this uh, perhaps a better production in the future. Uh, this is the first series of video clips that has been, will have been produced and uh, I just look forward to get the, the opportunity to present some of this material to you. Thank you.